Hello, my name is Peter Briggs and I'm a software developer and Galaxy administrator in the bioinformatics core facility at the University of Manchester in the UK. Today I'd like to talk to you about some recent updates to our Nebulizer utility. Nebulizer is an interactive command line utility for remote Galaxy administration. It helps with basic everyday admin operations, including query management of users, tools, quotas and data libraries. It was first developed in 2015 to help manage multiple local galaxies that we were running from the core facility, and it complements the Galaxy web admin interface. Among its features, it's a Python package. It uses Python 3.6 or greater, and it's built on top of BioBlend, which it uses to access the Galaxy API. It's available from both the Python package index and also from Bioconda. It's interactive, and it has a simple mechanism that allows you to associate aliases for different Galaxy instances so it's easy to work with multiple servers. Its text output can be used directly with other command line tools such as grep, and it works with any Galaxy version that is supported by BioBlend. Nebulizer is one of a number of BioBlend-based utilities for managing Galaxy instances. Others include Ephemeris, which provides utilities and scripts for bootstrapping and provisioning Galaxy instances, and Parsec, which is a toolkit for pipelining together low-level BioBlend functions into custom scripts. Nebulizer has some overlap with both of these packages, but it differs in that it provides a simple interactive high-level set of commands that are primarily aimed more for day-to-day -day admin and maintenance of Galaxy instances. I'd now like to show some examples of Nebulizer in use. For example, you can find out if a Galaxy instance is alive by using Nebulizer's ping command to see if a server returns a response. You can find out what version of Galaxy is running on a particular instance by using Nebulizer's config command and then grappling out the version information. You can find out which users on a particular instance are using the most disk space by using Nebulizer's list users command and then sorting on the disk usage. You can install tools, for example, MultiQC from the tool shed quite easily by using the install tool command and then target a particular tool panel section to put that tool into. You can find out which tools on a particular instance have updates available in the tool shed by using the updatable option of the list tools command. And you can easily update one or more tools from the tool shed using the update tool command which will pull in the latest versions of any that need updates. The most recent release of Nebulizer includes several significant updates. For example, there are new quota management commands. There has been a substantial simplification and refactoring of the tool management commands to improve the ease of use. Please note that if you have used Nebulizer in the past, then this is a breaking change. The update tool command can now use wildcards so you can specify multiple tools to be updated in a single invocation. And the list users command now allows filtering on things like user status, and you can also sort on disk or quota usage. Finally, we've also dropped support for Python 2.7. Looking to the future, I have a wish list of functions that I would like to implement, including management of groups, extension of the existing user management functionality to allow things like password resets. It would be great to be able to list running jobs, and I'd also like to improve the test framework. However, this is very dependent on time as I'm the sole developer on this project at the moment. If you wish to try Nebulizer for yourself, then you can install it directly from the Python package index or from Bioconda. There is extensive documentation available at Read the Docs, which includes an in-depth tutorial. There's also source code available on GitHub. Finally, I have a poster and a software demo. So if you wish to learn more, then please come and see me later in the conference. And thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy the rest of GCC 2021.